This is going to be one heck of an epic battle and celebration. But Snoop Dogg's discography, Lord in Heaven. You know what, in, in terms of a battle and names, for me, this might be the biggest contest. In terms of just the level of the artists, what they've done in the industry, their fame, their popularity, and their, and their discord. Just the, the level of their fame and the hits they have, I think this is going to be huge. Again, it's a very nice, catchy theme. The two dogs, you know, Snoop Dogg, who literally looks like a dog. And, of course, um, DMX, who... Oh, my dog that, you know. Um, two different, very different artists. Two, I think the beat about this is that by a battle is almost like a football match or, 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 or so much. It's nice to have a different blend of styles and to see how they match up against each other. You don't want people that are too similar because, again, for, for DMX, it's anthems. Huge, massive, bravado anthems. Like, DMX in, in, in terms of an aggressive, forceful personality with a huge presence, who also, because people just look about, oh, he's, he's very, you know, tough and everything. Technically, he's a very good rapper, and he's very unique as a rapper in the way that he writes his bars and his delivery of his bars and everything. He does it in a very unique way. Um, like basically, just listen to his verse on 24 Hours to Live on a Mrs. album. That's a damn good verse. But for Snoop Dogg, and this is why I didn't want to, I, I, I left out the discography when comparing and them both. Snoop Dogg's, Snoop Dogg's discography is insane. It is absolutely insane. And you think that a guy with such an incredible, amazing, stupendous discography should easily take out a DMX. But then this reminds me of the DJ Premier RZA battle. DJ Premier has a much vast, varied, and versatile discography than um, RZA. For me, in my opinion, DJ Prem is one of my favorite producers of all time. He is an incredible pro-producer, but that can actually come to harm you. You see, for a RZA, he knew that, okay, my discography may not be as versatile as DJ Premier, but I know exactly what to play, and I know what people want to hear. But if you've got such a wide, very versatile discography, you may not know the right hits to play and, and what really goes through. So when you had the premiere thing about it, for me, I felt premiere won. But some people, they thought that RZA won because RZA played all the hits at the right time. And for premiere, he actually left out some of the hits that people wanted to, to hear and was pulling out stuff that was maybe good to him, but was really good for the battle. So what may work against Snoop Dogg is you've got so many hits, so many tracks that you may pick ones that you may think is good, but not what the crowd think is good or may not actually work based on what, let's say, DMX has played to begin with. Because the beauty about this whole thing is you have to go into rhythm. So if somebody plays an aggressive track, do you answer with another aggressive track or do you then switch it up? Or by, by, switch, by switching it up, have you considered the fifth there? If a guy plays a feature, do you answer back with another feature? So like, oh yeah, I have I have another feature as well. So if a guy changes the genre to maybe R and B, do you also change this as well? So you see, for DMX knows I know the tracks to play. I know what people want to hear. And the key thing as well is placement is very important. Placement is very important because you see, because it was funny because I, I was listening to the Joe Budden podcast as he was breaking it down, like. It's kind of hard running on in the LBC and kind of hard being Snoop D or Double G. Like Gin and Juice, um, G Thing, those are like you can't touch those. So if you're Snoop Dogg, do you, if let's say you're going second and DMX plays Rough Riders Anthem or you're know, gonna make me lose my man up in here, do you then counter that with? A gin and juice, or do you say, I'm going to save gin and juice for number 19 and number 20? Because I know that anytime I play gin, gin, gin and juice, it's it's good. Or do you use gin and juice as that joke in your account to pretty much counteract 
one of the big tracks that's, that that come from DMX. And, and, that's, and that's the key thing as well, is that for DMX, again, like, they don't know who we be. That is one of probably my favorite tracks from DMX because I, just, I love the way, I don't know, the hair, the heart. I mean, just the way he raps that is amazing. So I want to know where he, he placed that. See, that's what you see. That's just from the from the battle aspect because I see it, it's it's just fun because again it's not like oh you won you lost it's just a fun just to see what tracks do they pick what do they not pick and where do they go beyond that do you know what I love about this is the next day because I literally the next day I go into tidal I put on my Bose headphones and I just listen to them like wow because it's so good having them in a playlist like hit after hit after hit after hit which is why it was so good listening to the ludicrous nelly one and just ah or listening to the teddy riley baby face and just listen to all of these hits that i that i and that i i am grew up with but but beyond that it's going to be a celebration and i think that it would just be nice seeing both of them because obviously dmx originally wanted jay-z because i wanted to put the dmx with with eminem that wouldn't work like that. Eh, the, the, the vibe just wouldn't work, and I know why DMX went to Jay Z because they battled, you know, and that has always been his his nemesis. But I think Jay Z is literally only going to do this if it's Nas. See now, if you have Jay Z and Nas, that would be huge, and I don't know how they would work it, but I just wish that they could work it in a way where you could have that celebration happen, Jay Z and Nas, and yeah, you can. And as well, see, I think Jay Z would probably be privy to it because. Tidal are linked in with this. I need to get maybe get Tidal and Ciroc to be partnered in with this. I think Jay Z could because that would see that would be the ultimate. The the it is like the, the two biggest rappers of all time, Jay Z and Nas. That would be huge. But this, I can't wait. I'm going to be tuned in. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I think it's going to be amazing to watch. It's going to be big quality to, to watch. And yeah, man, um, I think it's just going to be great to see. So I just think it's about what will Snoop's twenty be. And where will he place them? And where will DMX place his own? Because I know that DMX, I think this is just going to be a reminder of, oh my God, look at all the tracks that DMX has. And this will should be a reminder of Snoop Dogg might be one dude that I'm not sure many people will be able to beat because Snoop Dogg has hits upon hits upon hits upon hits upon hits upon hits. Become a Half Hope Sort member and gain access to exclusive videos and also the chance to watch films anime or different videos with your boy hh exclusively just click below on the join button to join in and become a half of sorts member to gain access to these perks just click on the community icon over here to view the new members only posts just for you